first up is uh, I watched a discussion panel on the news with Rick Sanchez uh, with a, with a couple different people, uh, including Chris Hedges and Lee Camp, uh, who are two of my personal favorites. If you don't know Chris Hedges or Lee Camp, you should one hundred percent know who these people are. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, Chris Hedges is 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 a pretty a pretty solid realist. Um, you know his his uh, his work is not for um, how do I put it uh, the the easily depressed. Yeah, I think that's probably <laughs> a pretty good way to do, to say it. Uh, but they had a, a good panel discussion about some of the economic reforms that are coming out. Um, you know of of Congress and and how we're. Uh, how we're trying to handle the the crisis at hand here, um, and uh, the answer is is you know they're they're pumping money into uh, Wall Street, which is really not helping, uh, and now they're talking about giving loans to to small businesses and the American people. That trillion dollar stimulus is now turned into a loan uh, that we will all have to pay back after a point where we just don't have uh, money or an income or anything. Uh, so it just seems like it's not it's not great measures, and um, this is sort of the thing that Chris Hedges pointed points out that these are structural problems, right? The the structure of capitalism is work is is basically built on consumption, and nobody's consuming anything right now, right? We're just not buying anything. Um, nobody's but nobody's willing to spend money because you know they they don't know how long things are going to last. Uh, so you have small businesses and event spaces that um, are dependent on regular customers, dependent on repeat repeat customers and stuff, and those people are just not, uh, you know, coming in. So you you you're you're looking at a system that has um, built itself on consumption, not just that, but also debt. So that's kind of why they want uh, these loans out there for small businesses and they're bailing out corporations because the corporations, uh, they figure will trickle that econ economics down. That's, that's, it's just a repeat cycle over and over again. Um, and I know we've, we've talked about this several times in these videos before, but it bears repeating so that, you know, people can see that it's, that it's real. Um, you also have a, a structural problem with the way that uh, that this this crisis was responded to. You know, we're eventually going to run out of beds. We we kind of make things when we need things rather than uh, just having it, you know, ready to go. We never we we just didn't expect uh, something of this magnitude would ever happen in a country like America. Um, that was something that that I think like the level of American hubris. So now we're running out of bed. Um, and we're more vulnerable because the capitalistic system thinks of corporations first and then these sort of uh, humanitarian issues later, like having beds. What are we going to do about grocery stores? How do we uh, secure an infrastructure? Do we have an emergency plan in place? Like, you know, like do, do we do we, you know, give out some vouchers or something like that to be like, OK, you know, this is how we're going to handle the situation. Everybody has to chill out and do their part one by one. Um, you know, like there, there just wasn't a preventative plan that was put into place. So one of the things that um, uh, Lee pointed out was was we got the things that uh, um, are for the common good. You know, we we just ignore the things that are for the common good, right? Like so, a public healthcare system, public education system, a public park, things of that nature. These are public good projects, and we just got them. We that's the first thing that we want to get rid of uh, because everything is driven out of profit motive. And and right now in a global pandemic, uh, no one cares about your bottom line. <laughs> Like nobody cares. We just want to, you know, be be alive and get through this. Okay, uh, you know. So it's it's just, it's funny. Like the 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 places that you see, like uh, big movie theaters, are asking for a bailout because no one's coming in. Um, cruise ships, uh, hospitality, banks, all these companies ask for a bailout and they get it instantly. Meanwhile, the American worker, or you know, people that work within this industry are getting affected. Uh, probably more than the corporation, um, 
I know I've mentioned this once before, but the CEOs of all these corporations, like the CEO of AMC and Regal Cinemas, fucking the Princess Cruise Line, and any any CEO of like a hotel is like fine. Like they're going to be fine. You know, like who's not going to be fine is their employees. You know, the people that depend on this income to feed their families now, just that's just gone. Um, so it's it's like we're bailing out the people that are going to be fine uh, without really thinking about the people that really drive the economy, which is us. We, we are the we are the people, especially because the economy is run on either us being in debt or us consuming on a daily basis. Um, you know, so the things that we kind of have to, to, to really think about is that the administration and the government system that we have right now has failed us because they didn't come up with a plan or anything. <laughs> they just kind of, you know, flew by the seat of their pants, um, undermined the, the, the common good for the working class, uh, and, and the small citizens, right? We like, because they're, they're giving us loans and they're just giving free money. Like, you know how conservatives complain that, oh, it's just giving it, we're, we're just giving it away. We're just going to, it's just going to be free. It's like, yeah, it's, it's a hundred percent free for corporations and the banks. You know, it's just, and, and Hedges points this out. And I think this is something that's important to talk about because it's, it's, and I'm going to bring it up again is that we're we're going to get a thousand dollars a month or or whatever the stimulus that they want to give us is or however they want to make up the money for it which when it always comes down to us it's always where's the money going to come from and when it comes down to like banks they're just like here we just made some up right so in this situation Pedges basically brings up the point that um it's all going to go back into these debt and loan you know all the banks and back into the corporate system and back up to the elites if they give us the money to spend because what this really means is this this has to be a long-term situation um, because we have to think of what's going to happen after all of this like even after all of this it's going to take a little bit of time for people to bounce back economically so, you know, let's say that the restaurants and bars and all of these entertainment and quote unquote non-essential uh, essential things come back. How many of us are really going to be in a place where we can go out to restaurants um, and spend an extra forty dollars when we haven't been making an income period? Right. So this is not just about how you kind of secure the economy for this moment. It's got to be about what's going to happen after this moment. And, you know, right now, I think we just need to accept that people probably aren't going to be spending a whole lot of money. Um, you know, like, uh, there's not a lot of us constantly doing things for income right now. That's kind of w where it is. So we kind of have to think of, like, what we're going to do after that. Um, because, and, and really, you know, putting us in that stable spot economically then you shift it to how do we take care of this with field hospitals and uh, the National Guard and the Army Corps of Engineers? How do we build this this infrastructure to kind of help the situation? That's a now problem. You know, we, we, we can basically say, let's just inject, let's just give these checks. That was a great idea. And now they're kind of bailing on it or turning it into something, something that completely different. Um, so, you know, what sh what should happen in in this situation is that our we should no longer be looking at a debt economy um that's going to fail repeatedly it's just a cycle it's just a system eating itself uh and what we should look at is is what is being created out of this so so we have these like really worthwhile systems in place um and how do we make them last so that the next time something like this happens we're not completely caught with our pants down you know, one of the other things that, that is that is happening, and, and I brought this up before, very briefly, but but I th you know now it's becoming more and more of a reality, um, is higher internet usage, right? There they've, I'm, I am sure that there is a lot more traffic going through all of the streaming sites, right? Like Netflix and Hulu and all, all of that stuff, and and YouTube and everything. So what my concern is. 
um, and gaming, like a lot of people are, are using it for gaming purposes and stuff like that as well. So um, my, uh, my concern and a lot of people's other concern was, are these ISPs going to jack up that price, you know, or throttle the speeds and try to extort people in, uh, in terms of getting higher internet speeds? Um, it's a concern. And the ISPs have said that they won't throttle speeds or charge more, but I don't know. <laughs> um, it's interesting, like, they have to adhere to net neutrality because if they take that stuff away uh, or they try to, like, charge more money for, like, higher speeds and stuff, I think there will be a, a much faster revolt, you know. If it If it takes, like, 10 more seconds for somebody to be... Uh, able to download porn that's you're you're looking at a much faster revolution on your hands since you you took away the people's porn uh but what is cool is um you know we are seeing people offer each other like mutual aid like you you do see like a lot more communal help um because our leadership has failed us I think I think that's a pretty that's a pretty s solid and evident statement to make is that the leadership is not doing very well. Um, so it's up to us to help each other out. Um, and look, I, you know, we're, we're, I'm not trying to downplay anything here um, because what Hedges points out in this in this panel discussion is that this this is like veering into the territory of 9-11 in terms of like what this really is right and and um kind of the way that people are reacting to it there the, the, there's a lot of paranoia and fear that's surrounding everything like we were very scared after 9 11 of like what the fuck was going to happen and, and that's kind of where we are now um you know and and really i think what this brings out is um it, it brings out like the core aspects of people's personalities. So I think if the core aspect of, of your personality is that you are a empathetic and compassionate person that understands that we are part of something bigger um, and we have to coalesce and come together uh, for and, and be a community now more than ever, then that's kind of what's going to happen. Um, you, your, your actions, your thoughts, the way you kind of handle the situation is going to be very related to those things. Now, um, if you are somebody that uh, takes part in, in a lot of greed and exploitation of other people, um, I think because, because we're you know, kind of under a magnifying lens with this, that's what's going to come out. So really what, what you might see is, is um, the core sentiments of, uh, of, of humanity based on whether they make their decisions out of fear. Um, and I think that's what leads to the, the greed and individualism aspect of things is because you're, you're making a decision out of fear um, and not out of, out of mutual understanding and respect to say, okay, we got to get through this thing together instead of apart. Um, yeah. I think that's that's really what is going to come out of it. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be making daily videos, so make sure you come back to this channel. Make sure that you are subscribed. You hit that bell so you're getting the notifications uh, because we are going to be putting up videos every single day. Uh, keeping you guys updated on what's going on around the world, keeping our critical thinking skills uh, up to date as well, uh, talking about some interesting ideas, talking about some topics that you won't hear on your corporate mainstream outlets. Um, I'm also a touring stand-up comedian, uh, but uh, at the moment, I don't have any live stand-up comedy dates to tell you guys about. So, uh, if you have the means to and would like to, to, to donate to this channel, to donate to um, g creating videos to improve the quality and quantity of these videos, feel free by, do, uh, by going to ramennoodlescomedy.com slash donate. That's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com slash donate. 
there you will find various different ways that you can either become a sustaining member uh, via those big orange buttons, Patreon, Bandcamp, and even PayPal, uh, or by just making a one-time donation uh, via the aforementioned PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, uh, whatever you feel most comfortable doing, and that's if you have the means to do it. I understand that we're all struggling through this time, uh, so all of these videos are going to be available for free, and like I said, will be up every single day. And a huge way that you can help uh, is by sharing these out. Uh, hit it, hit it up on your social feeds, on on the on the Twitters and the and the alternative social feeds and the Instagrams and the Facebooks. Just share it around. Tell it, tell as many people as you possibly can, uh, especially if you enjoy uh, the topics that we are discussing on this channel. And once again, make sure that you are subscribed. You hit that like button um, and get uh, get new eyes on this channel. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I, I, and everybody that's already become a sustaining member or a patron um, or has donated, uh, thank you so much. It really, really means a lot. And it helps every little tiny bit helps in, uh, in, 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 the, in this time of, of need. So uh, be good to each other. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you tomorrow with new videos.